Hello, my name is Chanted Moon, and welcome to my channel. This is November's, which is Moon. So let's get to it. This is the regular box, if you're new to the channel. This is the Witch's Moon box for November. This is the way it always comes in this particular box with all the symbols around. And this is what it looks like in, oops, inside. Very magical. All right, let's see if we can get this, if we can get most of this in and not me. Okay. So, first thing we have in our box is our paperwork and our oracle or tarot card. Ooh, this is different. This is the back of the card and mine says the guardian of Jalabru. I am sorry if I butchered that. I don't remember the theme. We're gonna find that in here. I'm super excited. Oh, the Yagaros do. This is like a runes or a Norse. Yag Drussel. I'm probably saying it wrong. Yag Drussel. That's the way I pronounce it. I probably am wrong. Okay, but we will go over this at the end. Okay, first things first, we have Prophecy of the Edda. Very pretty book of shadows. So we have that one is our first, let's see. Our second is By Frost Bridge. Very cool. The Rainbow Bridge. Nice. Very pretty. And then our main one is the Yag. Maybe they can tell you how to say it correctly. Yag Drussel. <laughs> the Sacred World. The Sacred World Tree of the Nine Realms. Here it is. Yag. R as one of Odin's drizzles as a horse. Ra drizzle. Ra drizzle. I'm probably still butchering that, guys. All right. Anyway, let you see this beautiful art. Beautiful, and it goes over the nine realms. Really pretty. I'm sorry that there's a horrible glare. I'm trying to get this in there so you guys can see. Hopefully without the glare. It's not looking too good. Oh, maybe this way. Okay, a little better. Very beautiful as always. So we got three. And then this is what it looks like. All right, so the first item we have is Baldor. Looks like lavender and rosemary. Here we go. Is that better lighting? Okay. Then the next we have is a bigger bag, plantain leaf. Then we have noodle, noodle, noodles. Okay. We have our beeswax candle. And I'm gonna use this, I got this in one of my boxes. I'm gonna use this to lightly open this without ruining anything. This, this baby is quite sharp. And our candle is white. White beeswax candle this month. Smells yummy as always. And then we have 
our ritual sacred salts. I'm not even going to butcher this one either. Alzheimer. Alzheimer. <laughs> Big bag of salt. Let's see if I can open it so I can take a peek. Oh, it's just no flowers in this one. Oh, but it smells so good. Mmm. Like a pepperminty. Very yummy. And then we have, oh, let me get the incense first right here. Favored Future is our incense. I have one burning now. It smells really good. It's called Passion Flower. Ouch. And then we have this. It looks like a bowl. It's probably one of those brass bowls. It is. This is. I thought maybe it'd be something special. We're gonna get a lot of special things in the box that they created themselves, but this is not. This is a, but I get it, tree of life brass offering bowl. And I don't have one of these, so that's nice. Last month blew me away that raven. Oh my goodness, I gotta still hang it up in here. I haven't done everything yet. Our crystal looks like Dream Amethyst. Dream Amethyst. Ouch. I'm sitting on my legs and it hurt. We have our oil. Our oil. And this month it is... Adrisol. Matching oil. Pretty. Okay. And then we have, looks like we got an oracle deck. Beautiful silver sachet for the cards. Oopsie. Oh, you took it out of the box. So, we got Norse cards. So, it matches this guy. I think I have these at work. I think these are called, and I'm not going to butcher it, this name. <laughs> so, we got an Oracle deck, which is cool. And probably a book to go with it. Nice. Let's see. Yes, with the matching book by Frost, a guide to the Roger Soul. Because <laughs> I'm butchering it, guys. I'm so sorry. Now I don't think the decks I have. Maybe this is made for. De oh, it was made just for them. Okay, I get it. This is awesome. We've got a hardcover book, which is not dumb. And then. It has made the legends of the old guide you on your sacred journey. Blessed be the witch's moon. So this was made for them. That is awesome. I truly like that. And it goes over the cards. Big. This is awesome. I like this. I can add it to my collection of the other books they made. <laughs> Very nice. All right. So let me open this so we can take a gander at that. And then we shall go over the paperwork. I always wanted this deck, so I'm excited that I finally got it. Okay. There's a lot of cards here, too. So we got Odin. Frigg, Freya, ooh, these are nice, Sif, I don't want to butcher the names, Balder, so I'm not going to call them out anymore, but these are cool, I like these a lot, and these seem bigger than, unless I'm wrong, than usual, Thor, So 
So these are really nice. I'm super excited to get these actually. What you guys think? I like the black and white too. Like Medusa, but can't be. I can't believe Samhain is coming on. November has arrived, and then we're gonna go into Yule. The seasons are changing too quickly. I wish they'd slow up a little bit. Ooh. I think I'm gonna work with these cards later. Like I said, there's a lot. Well, give you an idea what they look like. It's like the never ending deck. Getting close. This could be the longest video ever, maybe. <laughs> That's the card that I got in mine. I don't know if I already got the same. Let me know which ones you got. All right, so that is the deck. So let's go over our paperwork. We delve deep into divination during this wonderful dark time of year, pushing in the boundaries of our comfort so that we may face the honest truth about our past, present, and future. In this extraordinary collection, we bring limited edition divinary, divinatory items to our practice and craft, focusing on ancient tales of the lore of the Nordic tradition. As we focus on development and purpose, we sit against the Rudisal, the ash tree of life to fall into the wonderful symbols and strength of the old ways in this truly one-of-a-kind collection we connect with the gods goddesses giants elves future and fate sure to help guide you through the darker months and prep in preparation for the blessings to come the magical items in this box is as follows the norse divination cards and heart cover guidebook limited edition um, divination deck has become a wonderful staple in Icelandic artistry known for its adhering to heathen, heathenry or a strew, as viewed in the Icelandic strew community. Halderson is one of the original members active in reviving the traditional North mythology of Iceland in the 70s in the 70s and has devoted the art to Nordic and Northern European mythologies and folklore. We are thrilled to have the opportunity to collab with the publisher of this deck to bring you a limited edition hardcover guidebook accompanying the divination cards. As you open the guidebook you will find an intention listed in the print as stated with the introduction of this book. Oh! Did I miss something? I think I did. I mean, I know they have that and it says something else. Maybe I missed something. I know I did. Oh, yeah. And it goes into 
this. And then in here it says, May the legends of the old guide your sacred journey. Blessed be the witch's moon. Um, is the ash tree of life and in and around it the nine worlds rest. All the worlds are interrelated by the branches and roots of the great tree and creatures that live in there. Yet can still travel freely around the tree in between the worlds, either gnawing at it or giving it to Dianism, sorry. All right, introduction spread of the year. All right, then of course we got the beautiful cards. Um, and there's a lot of them. Um, does it say how many come in here? I don't know um, if it says how many cards you get. I am not seeing that here in the writing, but you get the big deck and you get the beautiful sachet. And then the beautiful artwork, which is absolutely stunning. And then it goes into the Bio for Us Book of Shadows artwork, which is this one. Really pretty. The information was included in a very talented local artist, artist specifically for this collection. Place upon your altar for display or keep within your Book of Shadows for reference. A, by A.E. Alden, of course. Um, Prophecy of the Edda, Book of Shadows work. This one here, which tells the story of the creation of the world and its coming t and its coming end, and subsequent subsequent rebirth, um, is also known to be one of the most important sources of study of Norse mythology. Written from verse eight, the Prophecy of Edda. Then we got the beautiful copper tree of life offering bowl. They're so excited to include this wonderful tree of life offering bowl for you to use during your readings or place upon your altar. The tree of life is a symbol that has been found in cultures all around the world, generally known as the sacred tree. It is often associated with growth, fertility, abundance, health, and the representation of connection to the spirit realm. Then this candle of the month is the white one is Ancient Deity Spell Candle. They have rolled this candle with the intention of connecting you with the gods and goddesses of the old. And then the oil, the beautiful oil, was created with the intention of fortifying your connection with the unseen realms. As you cultivate your energy each day, allow this anointing oil to be your companion to an ethereal friend. It is created with lang lang, cedar wood, basil, lavender, oak bark, and basil herbs. And then it has, of course, the quartz. And they have another magical oil from their cabinet mixed in here as well. Oh, my legs, I can't feel my legs. The Favored Future Ritual Incense. It's up, lifting and positive energies will help bring you riddle, really, riddle, forget it, hope and excitement. <laughs> then we got our plantain herb. This is good for protective, it's usually commonly placed in sachet charms, herbal blends to ward off evil, and it's also used as a good luck talisman and can be used as an offering to deities. Then we have the ritual herbal blend offering. That is this here. Only good things come, only good things are told of Baldur. He is a personification of goodness, mildness, kindness, of likable, of talent, 
and also of renew and foresight. We have created this blend, lavender, rosemary, basil, and thyme for you to use as an offering of good intentions while working with the Nordic gods and goddesses. And you can use this if you like into your copper bowl, Tree of Life. That are, I missed this, where is it? Oh, here. The Sacred Salts is made, it's another word, this, this word here is another word for light elves, but commonly referred to as elves. This magical place of light and hope, visions and ambition. Salt is made with the intention of bringing you auric energies to state, to a state of calm, allowing your mind physically to align with divinary practices. It's enchanted with lavender spearmint oils and basil. Ooh. And then our tumblestone is, they're saying amethyst, but this is definitely dream amethyst. It has like quartz in there. It's beautiful. And of course, that is, um, it says tumbled amethyst within this collection for you to place upon your deck when not in use. Amethyst is commonly known for its protective and purifying qualities, and it's great for its wonderful ability to connect to the divine. So they put that in here so you can put it on your cards, which is awesome. And of course, you can use the items in this box any way you wish to do so, and they always include an extra piece for you to do your own ritual work for your book of shadows. What do you guys think? I thought this box was awesome. Um, I love the book. I love the deck. It's a perfect time of year for this items. Um, so yeah, I'll leave the information about this box down below. Thank you guys for watching.